All right, so let's talk about how to test your OPC, right? So testing an OPC connection to make sure that it is working. Now, on a lot of times you're using a third-party OPC, uh, but you want to understand where to test it so that you can make sure your Rockwell side of things is working pro properly, right? So you open up RS Links, and in RS Links, make sure you are using a professional version. You're not using a uh, a light version or something like that, right? So uh, you are using a OEM a classic or, or even better, right? So uh, you go to DDE OPC right here, you get a topic configuration right here, and then you can, we're just gonna, we can check one of the ones we currently have or we can add a new one, right? Um, and let's just for this sake, let's just do this batching one and let's tie it to our batching processor right here. So we'll say batching station, right? And then we'll come over here to our batching station and then we'll link that up to our processor and then we'll hit apply okay so then we're going to hit apply we'll make sure that everything is set up correctly it does default and automatically set up everything like it, the way it should be as far as a process type communication is just going to allow the communication that's the setup you just did and then all we're going to do is click done now at this point, you want to go back to your actual uh, software, right? You can come over here and right click. If you're on Windows 10, it's sometimes easier to right click and go open um, destination right here and go to, this way it throws you in where RS Links is. Then you're going to go into uh, the tools and you're going to go to OPC test. Okay, so you, this is the OPC test client. All you're going to do is basically connect, you can connect your server at this point you want to do an RS links OPC server right here you can do remote if you're doing remote but in this case we're doing a local right so then that's connected so now we'll just add a group and we'll call this uh, let's just batch batch test right something like that and then you know just giving it an instance and then you're gonna add your items in as well so in this case, we're, we're going to come in here and add our items. Now, in this case, you get to choose from your OPC list that you currently have active. In this case, we have our batching station, right? So we're going to get our online tags. Uh, we can and get just by anything we want. But in this case, let's come in here and get this PID information. So this is the cooling tank. Let's make sure for one where it is. It's inside of the mixing. Uh, mixing tank PID so it's inside of the mixing tank PID uh, programming instead of the that's the scope of the tag if you would right so this scope of the tag is not at controller level it's at program level so let's keep that in mind so what we can do is go offline and then go down to our program levels so we'll we'll go down here and this um, keep in mind it's called mixing tank underscore PID right so mixing tank underscore PID right here this is what we want to get alright so this is what we can click and actually find out where our PID is now our PID is actually called tank cooling tank cooling right here so we're gonna grab that and then we can grab whatever we want to inside of this so in this case we want to grab let's just say the CV uh, EU for that case all right so the CVEU come over here and we'll come up here and find that tag right here we'll add that to our items okay and then we'll hit OK so now we can test that right so now we're gonna get the value we're gonna see if it's good we're gonna get the value of it and we're gonna get the average runtime that it's talking about so this is how you would connect something as even as, as deep as not being controller level you can actually go program level scope tags now again you can add some more stuff in here so let's add something a little bit less complex let's go to batch controls let's do uh, batch active okay so let's just grab batch active in this case we'll come over here we'll go over here to online and we'll get batch active batch active right here we'll add that tag add that up to it and now we have batch active now batch active is currently not on so we have a value of zero if I were to make that batch active high then it would come on in this state 
we can actually look and let's just look at uh, we can look at good batches right here and we can look at the ACC of the good batches so we could come over here and do that as well and I'm just showing you how to add in a couple things right so this would be right here and then we'll come in and this is called good good batches right and let's make sure again the program scope this is a program scope level so we don't have to actually dig down to the actual program scope we can actually go this is a controller scope I should say so at that case let's come over here to controller scope and this is good batches so we'll come down here find the the good batches counts right this is the ons and I believe let's see if we have this is good batches right here bad batches good batches right here okay so we have that we get the ACC of that we'll come in here add this item hit OK and you currently see we have a value of 2 now this is connecting our OPC now how do we know that for sure we can open up RS links again go to our DDE slash OPC topic configuration and it should have a lock symbol on that actual OPC now which means it is tied properly to your actual OPC meaning your Rockwell data is actually working correctly so at this point if you're using a third party entity then you know to focus your efforts on the third party this is part of the OPC troubleshooting and you know making sure that things are correct right using this test tool verifies that your actual OPC is connecting it is working you have communications everything is fluently transmitting data you can see if it is in good status or if it's in bad status you can also do this with uh, other third parties as well but again when it comes down to it it's a very very uh, good tool to use to verify and tr help you troubleshoot with your OPC because sometimes when you're using your OPC you don't know if it's a Rockwell problem or if it is a comms problem or if it is even a third party entity um, with your OPC that you're currently set up so with that said We'll see you guys on the next one.